Hi everyone, yeah, I just wanted to do like another video talking about positivity and like a positive mindset. Um, like I said, there's a lot of things going on and stuff, and like I said, I can relate to it, what's happening with other things. I've just said in a few recent videos talking about, you know, me and this underpass that's being sort of removed, and also uh, with Ronaldo and um, what's happening with him at Man United. I can sort of relate the two things together. I think it's good for people to focus on themselves, good for people to know where they stand, good for people to not let go of what, what suits them best. You know, if you want, if you like something, if you like it the way it is, you don't want to change the status quo. I think it's good that you speak out and um, it's good that you don't let people alter it. Like I said, um, I feel like a, um, the mindset of sort of not think, caring about others is a really bad mindset. Like I said, um, I feel like some people don't care about me. I feel like a lot of people um, um, aren't considering my needs or my or what, what matters to me at all. I feel like they're not being considered. And I feel like you've got to speak out. You can't just lie low and um, it's not, you know, I suppose that every man for himself, everyone's got to, you know, get out there and be happy get out of there and um, strive for and be determined and not let, you know, not let little things bother you and actually get past the people who are doing this to you. I feel like um, mindsets need to change. I think a bullying mindset needs to stop. I think this mindset of allowing others just to get what they want to suit their needs and not think about others is bad. Like I said, if, if you are sort of vulnerable, if you're doing something which is really good and, um, you know, like using underpasses or whatever, and people want to change that, people want to change your, your way of living, people want to change your lifestyle. I think even what's happening at Man United, that's stuff at the moment. There's a bullying mindset. Uh, Ronaldo's been thrown under the bus in the ground. He wants to leave. I feel, feel it needs to change. I feel like it's become too easy to pick on people with Ronaldo it's because he's probably one of the greatest players ever. For me, it's because no one seems to care really about me. It's the opposite end of the spectrum. No one knows that, you know, no one does the walks I do is what I'm trying to say. When I walk from here all the way up to the town train station, no one does these walks. Everyone drives. People just go for a walk with their dog. I don't have a dog. I don't have a pet. I'm walking on my own to town. No one does this. I'm still in my shorts and t-shirt. Again, no one does this. So I feel like I'm the only one. I almost feel like I'm being discriminated against so literally, even though I'm white-skinned. I don't know. It's not It's not a racist discrimination. It's like a social discrimination. It's just that where I'm living happens to be a discrimination. But when living in such a big town, I feel like, you know, this needs to be, people need to be held accountable. I'm not happy with this. And like I said, with this thing that's just come out with Man United, it's just then, I think it's the World Cup, Blake and Ronaldo's just come out and speaking about how he's been bullied by Eric Ten Hag, how he's been bullied by the manager, how he, he's not happy. I do think he says he wants to leave to Piers Morgan, but I can relate to that. I'm thinking, you know what, I spot Man United Football Club and I, I, I understand what Ronaldo's going for. I feel sorry for him. I, feel, I really feel sorry for him because I can relate to what happens to me at the moment with what's happening to me and my mental health at the moment with this uh, underpass thing and you know trying to decommission underpass and dual carriage which I use, my walks to cut water, my walks to town. They might be tarnishing and it makes me feel physically sick. It's not something I can forget about um, because I, like I said, even now I'm just tempted to walk. This thing is something I'm going to have to face every day and I refuse to get buses out of pure principle now. I don't drive, I don't want to drive, I don't like cars. I've talked about that in my video about why I don't like spice the transportation system. You can look, look at that on my playlist, which I'm going to create called Unique Topics or whatever. I'm going to create that soon just to advertise it a bit more. I've only did it in one topic. But I'm not happy with this. I think something needs to change. I'm really uh, I'm frustrated and the line is something funny going there. But yeah, I think if people want to change they've got to allow themselves to do that, they've got to speak up, they've got to uh, not just lay low and just take it all. I'm not taking it all, I don't think Ronaldo's taking it all, he's put the interview out, you know, the way, the timing of the interview is quite, you know, good for the World Cup, he wants people to know, and I want people to know as well, you know, he's been bullied, you know, Ronaldo's basically been bullied, I thought like we're both being bullied, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy at all, really, um, uh, I've tried to talk, I've tried to email the people, email the council of, and it's just, yeah, it's affecting my mental health. I'm not happy with it at all. Um, everything's been ruined for me a little bit. And I'm just having, you know, I don't know what else could change, but I'm just not happy at all. And, um, yeah, I think this mindset needs to um, change. This bullying mindset. We need people need to, we need to stand up for ourselves. Um, we need to stand up for the animals, of course, but I think we need to stand up for ourselves and not be afraid to want to change something that we're not happy with. Not be afraid to want to change something. That like Ronaldo's doing, obviously, our thoughts right, I haven't got quite the... Um, it's the following that Ronaldo does, so he can just reach out to someone like Piers Morgan, or he can just whatever, you know, I have got that. I, you know, like I said, my mental health is bad anyway, because I'm getting like two two or three views on my every YouTube video now, because they're being scheduled in a funny way, probably. Um, I'm scared, because I, I want them to be, I want them to show published date the earliest possible day. I don't want them to be like me, publish it in three weeks' time, and say upload in three weeks' time. It's taken, probably right now you're watching this, probably a month before, or three weeks before, whatever, it was... It was uploaded said, three weeks ago and it's appearing as a new video. But I don't care, you know, that's probably why it's getting my views are getting two, three views. I've got ten monthly listeners on Spotify. No one really gives no one really cares. So I'm done with the social media campaign yourself to others. 
the mental health side of things. I've done everything I can in terms of music, in terms of getting myself out on YouTube, in terms of social media. I put so many stuff on Facebook, even Instagram, and creating a new page. No one seems to care, no matter what, whether it's music, whether it's YouTube videos, just no one seems to care. So everyone else can go stuff themselves because I'm trying my very best and I'm not really getting anywhere with it. So the mental health side with social media, I've just given up on. Anyone else who can get a following from the music, from just Facebook, from the internet, from social media, from whatever their job is, they can just they can just go stuff themselves because I'm trying my very best and no one seems to fucking care anyway. So I just don't care. The mental health side for me is now this underpass thing, this is why I've done it, I looked at my United and everything, seeing what Ronaldo's going through with this bullying thing, obviously Ronaldo's in a bit of a better situation because he's got a lot of following and a lot of people will be talking about it and he likes being the spotlight, for me no one cares, you know, no one cares, do they, what the fuck innit, yeah. I post all these YouTube videos using my Canon camera and like almost like YouTube-esque quality, which I would average YouTuber could get fucking 10,000, 1,000 views, I've been on YouTube for almost 10 years basically, although my original channel was nine years ago, guess what, only 200 subscribers, but people can start ASMR channels a six months ago and suddenly get thousands of views. What the fuck in it? I don't care, man. You know, it's, it's absurd. I might as well just delete everything I've ever put on the internet. No one will care. No one cares. And it's a hard world. I've actually grown up in the world as a younger generational person where, where you know, social media was around me. Social media was around me. I got Facebook when I was 15. You would think I'd be one of the people. If you want to get yourself out, yeah, you can. Lo and behold, I'm trying to get myself out there. No one seems to fucking care about my YouTube videos or my music or my Facebook or my Instagram or my Snapchat or my TikTok or my Twitter. No one seems to care.